Hello everybody and welcome to another video and today what we're going to be talking about is how to install package control on Sublime which lets you install color schemes, modules, themes, a lot of things to customize your Sublime which is very important. So and we're also going to install Django which is pretty easy. So let's get right into it. So to install the package control what you want to do is open a, a new Sublime file, a blank file, and then you want to go to, to View. And it's going to be Console, so it's going to show the console here. And then here, you want to copy and paste the code that you, I got from the internet. So here, the, if you have Sublime Text 2, it's this one. If you have Sublime Text 3, it's this one. So just copy this, paste it in here. Uh, also, the, the site is going to be on, on the description if you want to copy and paste the code. So then just copy that, paste it, and then you can just enter. But I'm not going to enter since I already did it. So I'm just going to remove that. But you just enter. So boom, boom, boom. Okay. <clears throat> so now to make sure you have it, uh, you have to click Shift Command P. And then you search Sublime Package. Package Control Install Package. Click on that. And wait a second. And now you can install whatever you want. There's so many things. You just can just search it. You can search like Anaconda. And then you can install it and whatever. I don't even know. You can just PHP. PHP, there's there's uh, there's formatting, stuff like that. You can search one three three seven, it's a color scheme. You can search Monokai color scheme. You can search material color scheme. Material team, there it is color scheme there it is. so yeah that's how you do it and then if you want to install Django it's really easy so open your terminal and now I'll ask I'm gonna go into my documents I'm gonna work and then see the Django uh, how did I call it Django project I think yeah and then I'm gonna ls and then I'm gonna do source I'm gonna activate the virtual environment bin snatch activate And there you go, we activated it, and now it's super easy. We just do, actually I need to install, I need to uninstall something. Because <laughs> I remember I installed Django in my where, in my <clears throat> in my folder already, so I'm just going to go and uninstall it. Lib, Python 3.7, Django uninstall that. There we go. And now I just pip install Django. Okay, it still thinks it's there, so I think I need to close it and then open it again. Oh, I also installed this too, okay. Alright, any more folders about Django? Who knows? Okay, everything's good. So, CD work, oh, no, CD documents, CD work, CD Django project, source. Okay, and now there we go. Now it's installing it. So install successfully installed. There we go. And now they're back. So if we go into the sublime text file open Django project. And then we go and Django to Python. Boom. Uh, Test.py. Save it in here. Okay. And then run it. Okay, I didn't even run it. So I'll be, now it's uh, it's because it's in Sublime. So let me just run it from here. So Python 3. Test.py. There we go. It works. So, on, honestly, just don't run it from Sublime. Don't do Control b because Sublime is really bad at running stuff. Just run it from the terminal. Uh, so, hopefully, that worked for you. I'm just going to delete this. And next video, we're going to install a bunch of packages to customize Sublime. And, by the way, this site is going to be in my description. So, you can install it. So, next video, we're going to install a bunch of things using package control. So, Anaconda. Uh, linter, whatever it's called, 
Um, so yeah, like, subscribe, share the videos, and I'll see you guys next time.